Welcome to this quick video on using the forecast sheet option in Microsoft Excel. So a nice little option you might want to use using a bit of AI and a bit of cleverness in Excel is the forecast sheet. I've got some data here on a product, some sales data, and obviously I want to, I'm going to feed in the information for April, May and June as they finish off this year. But what Excel can do is it can use its brain almost a bit of AI to suggest what that forecast might be if your data looks a little bit like this and if your data doesn't work the system will explain to you will give you some information about what you might need to do to make it work this works really well it knows exactly what I'm doing it knows what I might look for in the future um you can also go online as well if you need any tutorials to see examples of what people have used this function for so you can get an example of it. So I always like to select my data. So let's select my data. And then I'm going to go to the data option on the ribbon. And towards the right hand side, I want forecast sheet. So that's going to pop up a little line graph there. You can see in the top right hand corner, I can do bar charts well if I want to, but line graph is probably gonna work best in this example. It's giving you a visual idea of what, what your sales in my example could be in the next few months. So you can see the blue line, they're the actual bits of data. And then you can see I've got three lines on the right in orange kicking out from that. Now the middle one, is a forecast, there's a lower confidence and an upper confidence there. So it gives you a suggestion of what might be going on. Now, obviously, it doesn't know about the market. It doesn't really know about my product. It's just giving you suggestions from an analytical point of view based on the information you've entered, bef you've entered beforehand. So it doesn't know everything. If you've got house, data, house sales data in there, it won't know anything about the market and things like that. Now, what I can do is it's currently ending the forecast on the 1st of April, but let's just go and end it a little bit later on the 1st of August. And you can see there how it's spread that forecast out. So I can get maybe a conservative idea of what them sales might look like if the market and everything stays as it is. You do have options further down below to make changes if you wanted to to any of the data but that's giving me a really good indication now obviously what you can do from here if I click create that's actually gonna have forecasted that for me it's done its cleverness on the left hand side there and it's got I've got my chart there and obviously I can make that smaller if I need to. Whoops, I'm going to undo that because I moved it. I moved the wrong bit. Let's just pull that in. Let's get rid of this ribbon. Let's just get rid of it. There we go. Took a few moments for me to remember what to do there. Happens to the best of us. And you can see that it's now created that forecast for me. I can use that as a chart and share that as and when I need to. So a nice little quick bit of functionality there that might work for you if you just want to have a quick look at what my, your information might forecast, your sales, your prices might forecast in the future based on the information that you provide it. And just remember to take into account that it doesn't know the markets, it doesn't know what else is going on, it doesn't know anything about the product that I've got in there, it's just showing incremental sales. But one to definitely have a play around with, have a look at. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.